Previously, we completed the subfloor in the third level loft of our addition and centered up the ridge beam. Ellie, you've officially got a floor in your loft. Yeah. And you have one heck of a view, girl. We began cutting and installing roof rafters for the first of three roof lines we're going to tackle. There's another roof that comes off of there. Those rafter tails are gonna get cut off and we're gonna have a uh, valley rafter that comes down from the LVL down to the floor. And that's gonna be a tough part. This roof is a huge challenge for us as we're not trained carpenters and figuring out how to tie in three different roof lines is way out of our comfort zone. We're new at this. When we built the A-frame, you had the one cut that you initially had to figure out and then all the rest were the same the entire way down. So this is going to be a process to say the least. For me, the key to healing, rejuvenation, and being able to have peak performance every single day is a good night's sleep. And that's where our Helix mattress comes into play. Helix is the sponsor of today's video. They have premium mattresses customized to fit your needs that come all rolled up in a box and are conveniently shipped to your door for free within the US. Everybody is different and Helix knows that, which is why they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz to together and find something that's a perfect compromise for both of you. We were matched with their Midnight Lux mattress, which is a medium feel mattress and perfect for side and stomach sleepers like Josh and I. Now we've had our Helix mattress for over three years now. The comfort has been next level. The support for our backs is dialed into exactly what each of us need. And the fact that I fall asleep, stay asleep and wake up well rested the next day is just absolutely amazing. It's arguably one of the most loved and most used items in our home. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the Helix Plus for big and tall sleepers, the Lux, which is the collection that ours is from, also the Elite, and Ellie even has the kids line. We are all sleeping so well over here, but if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried before, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial to ensure that you love it, plus there's a 10 year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. We love our Helix mattress and think that you would too, so if you're looking for a new bed, be sure to check out Helix Sleep. You can click our link in the description box below or head to helixsleep.com slash wildwonderful to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Today we're gonna to be working on the roof line for the center portion of the addition. So far we have six in total up. I think that we're gonna add another two before we stop at the middle portion and move to the rafters that are going to be on the very back side of the house. Those are gonna go from the ridge beam all the way down to the second floor. Once we get those done, we're going to start tackling the hip rafter. So this is going to be a process. <laughs> we are completely figuring this out as we go along there's three different roof lines that are going to be tying in together and we're not professionals so we're taking it step by step and hoping for the best it's a process that we're trying to learn yes it is a process that we're trying to learn for sure when you let your love run free honey you can count This is going to be the stopping point for these rafters. Once that's done, we need to come off with the valley rafter and figure that out. I have an idea. It might not work though. <laughs> but I have another idea after that. Perfect. <laughs> you got to move your ladder down here to the edge. It's marked, but you're at the edge. Okay, so be careful. I can only get a rope and tie it around your waist and tie it to the, to the house somewhere. That's not helpful. No? No. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Good job. Walk a little higher. A little higher. A little higher. Watch your hands. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Side in. This rafter at the edge of the house comes down and it sits on a knee wall and it goes through Ellie's closet. And like I said, I don't know the math behind how to figure all this out. So I have a, another rafter that's going to tie into the LVL. We'll lock it all in together. We're going to have the rafter come down. And once it's in place, we're just going to measure where the wall goes. Mark it, cut it, and put it in place and it should fit. We can take the mock-up down now. I know where the placement of my bird mouth is so we can cut a fresh board and put the mock-up to the side for now. True story, we still have the original mock-up for the A-frame 
it's under the house, it's pressure treated, it's safe, but it's still there. And it has a special place in our hearts because boy, did we work hard to figure those angles out. <laughs> that was tough. It was definitely tough. We're done the camper, no, no real hot showers. We got, we got it made, you know, I'm not gonna lie. We do have it made. Electricity at the flick of a switch, <sighs> hot showers on demand. Oh my goodness. It's all worth it. <laughs> Bless. Would you do it over again? <laughs> oh, duh. I would do it over again. Um, but I don't have to. <laughs> so I'm not. <laughs> so now we can actually build the wall. Once this part's done, we got to do it one more time on the other side. We'll smoke this thing the entire way down. Head down, girl. Uh -oh. oh. Is that right? Yeah, that's definitely right. I'm gonna temporarily get that rafter locked into place, but my big fish to fry is coming from up there, down to there, and making it all fit right. I'm gonna put my mock up on top to get my angle, because I'm still coming down at the same angle, I think, and I want that thing to turn at a 45, so I'm gonna angle this yeah. like this, tur turn the saw at a 45, cut it up once, and it should come off going down to that wall. We'll see. If not, we'll figure it out. This is gonna be a process, isn't it? It's gonna be a huge process. Okay. I know what we're going to be doing for the next three weeks. Playing. Wait, can I take it down? Yeah, sure. Playing. Playing home build. Playing home build. So I was writing down a bunch of angles, a bunch of numbers. I found a chart online that shows for the cut of the hip valley rafter depending on the pitch of your roof. And we have a, like an 18 and a half pitch roof. So it's like a 57 degree angle roughly. I cut it, I dry fit it, it looks good. So the cut was proper. I'm pretty confident that's gonna work. <laughs> I have the other three rafters to come down towards the valley rafter. Once those are in place, we'll pull this mock up down and we'll build it and put it up for permanent. So we'll start okay. tying it all in. I have all my rafters cut. I got the one hip rafter installed. I'm gonna double it up, so I'm gonna put that on there. But we're in a pretty good spot tonight to get this last rafter up, then come out tomorrow morning and take care of business.
After ending yesterday feeling like we had all of our ducks in a row today and we're set up and figured out all of the difficult stuff so that we could just get started on installing the rafters, we quickly realized that we overlooked one very important task. All the rest of the rafters that are going to come down and tie into that hip rafter are going to require a specialty bevel cut a cut that we do not know how to do or how to figure out. So we spent this entire morning back and forth, back and forth, making cuts, dry fitting it, taking it back down, trying to figure out exactly what the right cut was. We're new at this. When we built the A-frame, you had the one cut that you initially had to figure out and then all the rest were the same the entire way down. So this is going to be a process to say the least. Oh my goodness. That's the sweetest thing in the entire world. I hope you know that. He is just loving his life. He's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you take such good care of him. Yeah. Yep, that's livestock. It's like a treat here, you know? <laughs> he is most definitely not living a livestock life. <laughs> so we take the rafters, go front and back, front and back. Every time we come back to the front part, we gotta cut kind of a bevel, special cut, and make it all work. Are you gonna go one by one? One by one, girl. Cut and fit? Cut and fit. But I have, I have a pretty good plan now. Took hours, <laughs> hours and hours and hours <laughs> of uh, cutting, fitting, and making it work, and it didn't work, and now it works. We made it. We made it, we did it, okay, you know? We're not professionals, you know? I can't emphasize that enough. If we're pouring concrete, you know, big country, we be knocking it down, but <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Doing something a little more complicated. <laughs> Take no me back country. to the concrete. I'll never complain again. <laughs> push, 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 push. Right, okay, I'm coming up. From this point, the valley rafter down, the rafter's gonna go up. They're gonna be a little bit too short to tie into the valley rafter. So we're gonna come back through. We'll splice a piece on from the valley rafter and it's gonna go up and lock into the rafter itself and also tie into the LVL. For every rafter we put up on this side, we'll jump to the opposite side and put a rafter up because we don't wanna put too much weight on the ridge beam where we put all the rafters up to start bowing out towards the opposite side of the house. So we're gonna go one and one back and forth as we come down till this portion of the roof is completed. With me. Thank you. Hold it. Put it against that real quick. Hold that. Move it up top. Tell you what, girl. It's exciting. Here we go. 